Gold price sinks but still $50 overpriced versus U.S. Fed expectations. The price of gold fell further on Wednesday, extending yesterday's drop through what some analysts called key support at $1,940 as Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell repeated that U.S. interest rates will rise again by year-end after strong house-building data saw betting that the Fed will instead pivot and start cutting the cost of borrowing fall towards zero. New U.S. housing starts yesterday came in 21.7% higher for May than April, the fastest month-on-month -month jump since October 2016. The number of new U.S. building permits issued last month also rose to defy analyst expectations of a slowdown in activity. It will take time for the full effects of monetary restraint to be realized, especially on inflation, Powell said in today's testimony to Congress, explaining last week's decision to skip another rise at the Fed's June meeting after raising overnight dollar borrowing costs by 5 percentage points per annum since early 2022. But nearly all Fed participants expect that it will be appropriate to raise interest rates somewhat further by the end of the year. Fixing Tuesday at the lowest since mid-March at $1,930 per troy ounce, gold bullion slid to a fresh three-month low at $1,920 in spot trade today, before regaining that $10 drop around this afternoon's London benchmarking auction. All Fed cut bets in 2023 are off the table, and with that the premium needs to be unwound in gold, said a note overnight from precious metals strategist Nikki Shields at Swiss Bullion Refining and Finance Group MKS Pamp. Shields' chart above shows the price of three-month futures contracts on SOF are the secured overnight financing rate, a broad measure of the cost of borrowing cash collateralized by U.S. Treasury bills or bonds and therefore a proxy for Fed hikes forward slash cuts expectations versus gold. Year to date, the daily correlation between SOF or prices and gold priced in dollars is running at a strong plus 0.60 and at the current SOFR level, the model implied gold price is $1,878, a full $50 lower. Tuesday's U.S. House building data meant gold's notable floor around $1,940 broke down, says Shields, and stacking up against support from solid central bank, jewelry, and retail coin and gold bar demand are now persistent ETF outflows, no appetite from discretionary investment manager accounts, and a soft physical Chinese demand. Together, says Shields at MKS, this means that while structural demand drivers are still there for gold as a longer-term asset class, it's been in no man's land for too long and the new cycle is simply slow, which usually implies a re-rating lower in the near term. The euro gold price also dropped to new three-month lows Wednesday, trading as low as €1,759 Euros after European Central Bank executive member and economics professor Isabel Schnabel said the 19-nation currency union's labour market remains incredibly strong, meaning the ECB must act to prevent a wage price spiral, driving inflation higher again. Aggregate demand may be slowing by less than currently anticipated, Schnabel already said in a speech Monday, implying that fiscal and monetary policy are not sufficiently restrictive. The UK gold price in pounds per ounce meantime hit its lowest since end February at £1,510 ahead of tomorrow's Bank of England decision, now expected to bring a half-point hike to sterling interest rates after consumer price inflation in the world's fifth-largest economy failed to slow on May's data, with the core cost of living accelerating to a 7.1% annual rise, the fastest pace in four decades. Silver prices today fell harder than gold yet again, following Tuesday's $1 plunge with a drop to new three-month low at $22.50 per troy ounce.